Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 907. I am your host, Major Floyd 212, and I'm with Steampunk Star Raisin. Here in Hollywood, AmberStreet.com. What is up, Paul? Good morning, as it is 3 o'clock in the morning here in the UK, and it's just been snowing. Wow. What's up, Sally? What's up? What's up, Daniel? Hello. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's going on? It's been 63 degrees today, baby. It's that out. <laughs> the other day was like below zero at 20, and now it's like almost in the 70s. I don't know what the hell has happened in the weather over here, but anyway. We well, some- it's called, called global weather. Yeah. we yeah. got some crazy news. <laughs> so, Chris. Why don't you the normal weather instead of that? Uh, six- right now is winter time. It should, it should be like 20s, 30s, but we have 63 degrees going on 70, so it's amazing. I'm not going to jinx it, so I'm happy about it. All right. What do we got, Chris? Well, let's go from what, in my opinion, is the least important news. Okay. Most important news. Um, So, so far, it looks like they're possibly going to do another Triple X movie because we needed another Triple X movie. Well, yeah, we got a new one coming out any week now. The third one, I guess, right? Is it the third one or is it the fourth one? It's, I think it's the third one. Okay, the third one. Okay. And... They accidentally spoiled the movie by, and I'm going to spoil for you guys, spoiler, spoiler, that the other Triple X is in this movie as well. So the company is not happy about it, that they, whoever made um, a clip or trailer or something, they showed that the other guy, what's his name, uh, Ice? Ice Cube. Ice Cube is in it, yeah. You mean J. Jonah Jameson? Well, hopefully not. Right? So, yeah, he's in it, and I guess they told Vince Vaughn, Vince Vaughn, where am I getting this name from? Vin Diesel. They told Vin Diesel they want to do another Triple X, so get ready. I don't know. So, yeah, that's happening. Anybody interested in Triple X, uh, whoever? I don't think I've ever seen any of them. Not really. I don't think I've seen any of them, so I don't know. No. Daniel hasn't seen them. I saw the first one and didn't really appeal to me that much. Yeah. All right, go to Dumbo. Okay, so yes. uh, Like all their other movies, Disney wants to make a live-action Dumbo movie, which will apparently star Will Smith and Tom Hanks. And apparently, this movie could cause, for some reason, could cause the fourth Bad Boys movie to get canceled. Well, uh, Bad Boys 3 ain't out yet, so I don't think that really matters. I think this is going to depend on how well Beauty and the Beast... Uh, goes when it kicks off in March. Well, it's, weird. it's already creepy. Yeah, they're filming three and four at the same time, right? Well, no, yeah, Chris just said they may cancel four, but then they'll reschedule it, I guess. I don't know. But Dumbo, so this is by Tim Burton, yes, which is not what we're going to expect, obviously. It's going to be weird, isn't it? Probably, probably. It's probably going to be a whole movie about the pink elephants. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Will Smith is the – I thought he was going to be a bad guy. He's going to be the mouse, I guess, or he's going to be what? Was there anybody else? There's a mouse and Dumbo, right, and then bad guy? I don't remember. Was it Timothy? Who's the bad guy? In the, in the animated, there was no bad guy, right? No. Sally, do you remember Dumbo? Ivory Poachers? Vaguely. It, I, it's been a while since I've seen it. Wasn't the mouse called Timothy? I don't freaking remember Dumbo. It's terrible. I remember it was really sad. But that's about all I remember. All I remember is the mouse going, Dumbo! And that's all I remember. <laughs> and that's all I remember. And he's like, and he flies. And that was it. I'm like, okay. Other than that, it's blur. Blur. They're going to do all live action movies, man. I'll put back to Beauty and the Beast. Well, no, they, they've, been, they've scheduled that since they started the, the live action movies years ago already with Maleficent and all this other stuff. So they, they're going to do a Little Mermaid. They're going to do all this stuff and mm. pop them all out. Um, because of the technology, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's it's a blur, but okay. I mean, if we can make a movie based on Battleship or Monopoly game or Tetris, why not? The Come Tetris up. trilogy. Make sure you get that right. It's the trilogy. right. It's not one movie. It's the trilogy. Oh, this God. time it's gonna be a tighter fit. Oh no, I don't know what that's about. All right, Tetris. Yeah, that just took a dark turn. Okay. I, listen, well, what else can you do to describe Tetris? Things going in and like a cute. I don't know. You know, the perfect thing to describe a Tetris trilogy is one word. Don't. Yeah. 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 Crap. <laughs> let's let's do eating the movie where we eat. No. Okay. Thank you. That's over. Like okay. <laughs> All right, so besides that crazy news, uh, let's get to the good stuff. Well, this next thing is it, 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 it well, not necessarily on, good stuff. I mean, it depends on whether or not you think this is a good series. <laughs> I think it's okay, but yes, of course, there's going to be another X Men movie. Probably will take place in the 90s, and apparently, it's going to be called take this with a grain of salt right now, but apparently, it's going to be called X Men Supernova. Oh my god. <laughs> God help us. Well, I mean, that is a really effed up title, I gotta say. It's like 90s corniness. Well, there you go. Like, I mean, it, it's gonna be the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, I can't speak tonight. I'm sorry. Tardis to dematerialized. I, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be the Dark Phoenix saga, but in space, which it's supposed to be. But we're gonna call it Supernova. Supernova. This is Hollywood getting short of ideas. Let me let me let me, let me say this again. X Men Supernova. No. Well, like they could change it. So. Champagne Supernova. No, okay. I guess not. Hey, that's a great song. I know. Don't Oasis. bum it. <laughs> Oasis. I love it. Um. All right. So, but we did get our X Men movie, I guess, and New Mutants, Wolves Bane, Easy Williams, possibly. All right. So, Dark Phoenix Saga, but. Only one movie, I guess. We'll have that. Um, no more superheroes, please. <laughs> there was also three movies that are mystery Marvel movies that they have not announced as the end part of Phase 3 up until 2020, which one of them is probably Guardians Galaxy 3, right? I would think. I would think they're going to do a Guardians of Galaxy 3, I would think. I don't think they're going to do it this phase, though, to tell you the truth. Oh, not in this phase? Wasn't there supposed to be three movies part of the phase, though? I, to be honest, I have no idea. I haven't oh. heard that report, so I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, Karen Gillen? Karen Gillen is going to be in Finney War, I think, right? Or something like that. Should be. All right, so let's get to the news uh, about Carrie Fisher, because we have a situation where the movie may be greatly affected so was episode eight and nine, right, Chris? Well, at least nine. Right, so you don't think they're going to touch eight at all? Eight is all ready to go, as far as I know. They're not going to alter eight? Yeah, I don't think so. But well, yeah, I mean, I I heard that they – that was one of the controversies with Trump and Terry Fisher. They were so – I can't even be breaking up. Disney released a press report saying that all her scenes had been finished and all the production we know it gets finished, and we know today that there was a meeting with the Fisher estate, which I believe is her daughter, right? And the brother, or whatever. Billy Lord. So, obviously, Harry Fisher, I'm sure, gave them permission, and they're going to have to pay a nice sum to use her likeness, I guess, in nine. Which, you, know what they could, you know what they could do? This is going to sound kind of cheesy, but I thought about it, because I study the facial features of, of Billy Lord. She, she looks very similar to her mother. She looks a little different. But if you did her hairstyle right and you added some CGI or some makeup, but they already you could had like, actresses for the uh, for Rogue One for her. So why don't they just keep that going? Yeah, that's what I say. Just use the same actress that they used in Rogue One. Do you want to know why they're not going to do that? Because it's younger, right? And they're going to go no. older? No, because people complained that it looked fake. So they're like, they're afraid about doing it now. Oh, God. People need it to even stop. says it here in this article. It, it, it starts off with, some had no issue with the illusion, others saw it as very fake. And, and, and I know that one of the biggest things that people have been, the people who didn't like Rogue One, and even some people that did like Rogue One, one of the things that a lot of them have been saying were that Peter Cushing and, 
and uh, Carrie Fisher looked very fake in Rogue One, that the characters looked very, very fake. And it was like, well, what do you want? You want them in the movie or not? If they weren't in the movie, you would have complained that they weren't in the movie. But now that they're in the movie, you're complaining that they're in the movie. So, I had no problem. Well, P- P- well, Peter Cushing, even though he died in 1994, he in one of his last interviews, he talked about how he could envision that somebody would use his likeness as a CGI recreation. And he saw so the rights. He said it was okay. Yeah, he said it was okay. Uh, I mean, there had been a sci-fi movie in the 80s called Looker, which was about movie actors that were created as CGI, and they were killing off the original actors and just replacing them with CGI. There was a sci-fi movie about that. So, so uh, you know, actors even in the early 90s were realizing that sometime in the future they're going to just have CGI actors. And Peter Cushing was okay with it. So I, I don't see the problem. I don't see the controversy. Uh, I know that, that uh, Grandpa Park looked a little fake sometimes. Sometimes he looked realistic and he looked spot on. Well, I thought but, that uh, looked more fake than Tarkin. But I accepted yeah. it. I mean, I was like, okay. I mean, you know, you can't be perfect. No, it can't be perfect. I mean, I I still loved Rogue One. It's still my favorite all-time Star Wars film. I even like it better than Empire Strikes Back. Right. So, uh, do we know anything more about what's going on in Episode 9, Chris? Nothing, right? No, we, we don't know anything about Episode 9 right now. Any reports that come out that say that they know what's going on in Episode 9 are, are not true. We don't know what's anything that's happening with Episode 9. Yeah. Episode eight. I, I think that I think that we may have learned stuff that's really happening by accident or or through some reports. But a lot, of, you know, a lot of these sites that are reporting things, they're either reporting things that were rumored months ago, or they're just make like they're making stuff up. There's only a few sites that are really good that you can get credible news that when they say, okay, we got a leak. <laughs> you can kind of go by them. One, one of them is Making Star Wars. Usually when you see stuff from Making Star Wars, you can you can pretty much take it to the bank most of the time. They, yeah. they leak things about Episode 7 that were spot on. I mean, completely spot on. Right. Oh. Hold on. Hey, James. What's up? What's going on, bro? Yeah, so... We did have some, uh, Chris, you, I sent you the link. Uh, can you screen share the defenders? Yeah, hold on. Uh, just an observation for episode eight. Well, go ahead. Sorry. No, get it, uh, get it, uh, Steampunk. Observation for episode eight. It seems that Billy Ward, the daughter of Carrie oh, Fisher. Hold, hold on one second. James, I'm going to meet you for a second. God bless you. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Okay, I guess he's sick or something. He, uh, uh, the, the audio was loud. Go ahead. Anyway, um, the supporting character, Dr. Carrie Fisher, in episode seven, but apparent character is returning in episode eight and she's receiving top billing, or at least right now, the way the IMDb page is set up. She's listed, she's credited as second as the character, Lieutenant Connix. And I, I don't even Lieutenant Connix from episode seven. She also had like, one of those brief cases where he didn't pay attention that second. But apparently, Billy Lord has a bigger role in episode eight than she did in episode seven. But it's playing the same character. Right. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're credited in the cast as second. You know, you got Carrie Fisher credited first, and then Billy Lord. That's, that's top billing. So you know, they must have decided to. Uh, use Carrie Fisher's daughter a lot more in Star Wars, which would make sense. Yeah, and I, I would, I would also predict that Billy Lord, she's relatively new; she's only twenty-four. Is actress? I would suspect that Billy Lord's probably going to have a bigger role in episode nine as well. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, she so, wasn't Force Awakens, so she's going to have a bigger role. I just don't remember Force Awakens. Like, what scene was she in? He, she was in a very iconic. quick scene, um, like operating, like what, Chris? She was just operating the keyboard or something. Uh, he, was, he was like in the background in the in the uh, re, in the um, resistance base. Right. Oh, uh, okay. So she's just like a bad extra. Yeah. They gave her character an actual name, but if, um, if you look at the IMDb credits for Episode Seven, she's listed way down low in the totem pole as far as credits. But this and that. So, She's the second, so she's the top billing. She's got a so bigger role. She's, she's got a bigger role. She's got a bigger, got a bigger role reprising the same character, apparently. 
and uh, makes sense. Would make I, sense. All right, James, do you think uh, do you have a problem with them uh, like using uh, like doing a CGI for uh, Carrie Fisher? If they do it in a respectful way, right? That'd be respectful for the character. But do you think because like maybe she was supposed to have a bigger role in Episode Nine that they shouldn't have too much CGI because. Obviously, if that's the case, it's going to be huge, huge, a lot of money they're going to have to spend on CGI. Yeah. So have a bigger part. I don't know how they're going to do that. What, what they need to do is, you know, like have her get killed off in episode eight and let her daughter take take the mantle or something, or or her daughter's character take over for Princess Leia. Or, isn't, you know, isn't Laura Dern supposed to lead the, Chris, um, isn't Laura Dern supposed to lead the... Um, Resistance or the rumor, the rumor that this is one of the first rumors that came out, and it was after she was cast, was that there was a scene where her and Poe Dameron are apparently supposed to be arguing about how the resistance is going to handle something, and um, apparently in the scene, one of them says, "Well, if, Prince, if General Leia was here, she would do this," saying, meaning that she's not there for some reason. Which gives credit to the earlier rumor that she gets taken out of episode eight early in the movie. Right. So whether that's true or not, who knows? Uh, yeah, I did hear a rumor that. That's gonna be a movie. One at a time. One at a time. Good. Um, James. I said, if you get taken out early in the movie, how, how is she gonna have a bigger role in episode eight? Well, that that's the thing. A lot of these reports, I think, are false. I think that they're blowing up that she was supposed to have this huge part, and it's. It's not true. No, okay. Either yeah, I, 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 was wrong. Well, yeah. before before Kate Fisher died, I, I heard rumor that Kate might die in the next movie. So, if that's the case, then they won't really need her in Episode Nine, or maybe they well, bring obviously, her. Obviously, yeah. because they're negotiating, they are. They need her in Nine, obviously. So, I don't know, Connor. You have anything you want to say on that, or I mean, um, with the CGI and. Uh, if they if they have to make a huge huge scenes in episode nine of Carrie Fisher's likeness, well either, either that or get Lando. I'm sorry, what? There's too much noise here. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna meet you in one second, James. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Get either do that or get Lando to replace her. Get who? Lando. Billy Dee oh, Williams. Oh yeah, it's, as the leader of the resistance, right? Yeah. yeah. That would make sense, pretty much. What about you, Daniel? Yeah, they could they could do that. Um, I don't know. I just yeah, they, they could do that if, if they could they could just write something in there where like she died in episode seven, uh, episode eight, and they can they don't have to replace something else, you know, something like that. Sally. Yeah, because eventually, I mean, they're gonna have to change something. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a little worried, but sure they planned it all out in the beginning, but. Things change. And... Yeah. All right. Um, we had some pictures, right, uh, Chris, for the defenders. Could you uh, screen share any of that or no? Okay. Why are you doing that? Can there we go. Like, uh, there we go. So we have whole crew there. That's pretty cool. Is this the TV series where Sigourney Weaver is the villain? Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you haven't seen it already, Connie, you got to see David Tennant and Jessica Jones in the first season. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen the first three episodes of Jessica Yeah, it's amazing. I'm very excited about this. This is really cool that it's shaping up to be really nice, the Defenders. Um, and we're going to have more series on Netflix. We're going to have well, Iron Fist is the next to debut. And then it's gonna, I guess it's going to be Defenders, and then it's going to be Punisher. It's going to have a Netflix series. So... And we already got a green light for uh, Jessica Jones season two and a Luke Cage season two and a Daredevil season three. So, anybody have anything to say about that? No. Is Tenant in series two? No. No. Mm. Not at all. No. Without okay. any spoilers. <laughs> um, Can I just right, say have, something uh, about Star Wars quickly before you yeah, jump yeah. on? I was just reading something on um, Showbox, and you were saying about when they um, 
the new Star Wars film opens, The Force Awakens opens in China. Well, hold, hold on, Paul. I'm sorry. Whoever has the TV on, who has the TV on? Because you're going to have to mute. So I can't hear Paul. Is, okay, go ahead, Paul. I'm sorry. Yeah, apparently the, uh, I was just reading here, the Chinese audience has not taken to uh, the franchise very well at all. Um, and it's not done as good as Disney would have part of it. Yeah, Rogue One, they don't, they're not really seeing it. I it won't, it won't make a billion. It won't. I it won't. Actually, actually, I think it will because uh, right now it's nine eighteen million. Because I was just talking to Daniel about this. Nine hundred or nine hundred twenty. Nine hundred twenty. Apparently, 20, oh. uh, not a better two million. But they, they haven't uh, premiered it in China, so it's pretty close to. It did premiere in China. It only did thirty-five million. Yeah, I heard it bombed in China. Yeah. Well, not really, China, but it didn't, it didn't do as well as expected. Okay. It got it got ten million on the opening day. Yeah. Apparently, Marvel's doing really well, but the Star Wars franchise is just uh, not doing as well. No, I mean, no, no. Rogue One has got nine hundred twenty million, and we don't have the numbers in from the foreign markets for the whole week. So that could push it up to 970, easy. And then is we it have- all around the world yet? What? Is it open all around the world yet? Yes. So I, I think I think it'll make roughly a billion dollars, maybe a little, maybe a little bit less, but I think it'll make close to a billion. Um, I mean, Disney was only projecting that it would make 800 million worldwide. So it's I mean, done it's, better than they projected. It's number three, but it's generating two million a day, okay? And we still got the far number, so I'm pretty confident it's going to be a billion, at least. And that's, I mean, even if it doesn't, it, it did phenomenal. Come on, it, it, it was like the number two Star Wars movie of all time, what box office was, right? So, that great job. That's what I have to say. Um, did you hear the rumor about Cassian being in Han Solo? I'm sorry, what? Did you hear the rumor about Cassian being in Han Solo? Cassian? Yeah, Cassian Andor. But he made, how could that be? Well, because Han Solo will probably be before Rogue One, I imagine. Oh, okay. Um, Paul, I'm going to mute you for one second, I'm sorry. I also heard a rumor that the Han Solo movie is universal like a cameo. Well, she could do. But it should be, what should be with? Uh, she was what twenty, twenty odd, twenty six when she was with the rebellion for that short period of time. So she'd, she'd have to be a young teenager, probably. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think yeah. I just a rumor there, and I don't know if it's true. I don't. I don't really um, see the point in putting them in the Han Solo movie. You know, what I mean, that's kind of like teasing everybody, and I don't think that's. Well, the the. Yeah. The IMDb page for episode eight is interesting because they updated it with the character list. Right. And uh, apparently Admiral Akbar plays a big role in episode eight. And R2-D2 is played by Jimmy V. I never heard of the actor. I didn't know they were still using actors for R2-D2. That's interesting. Right. Uh, Admiral, Admiral, Admiral Akbar is played by Tim Rose. Ho uh, Steve, uh, hold on. Uh, sure. Uh, so you got Jimmy V plays all the villains in Doctor Who. That I mean, soon. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. he, he apparently is now credit for playing R2-D2 because, you know, Carrie, uh, Kenny Baker can't do it anymore. Right. I did, I, just, I was, it was surprising to look at that because I thought R2-D2 was entirely CGI now but, or, or entirely a prop. But, uh, and then there's a couple characters that are listed on the character, uh, the character list that, uh, that we've never heard of before. Neon Nump, Neon uh, Nump, played by Mike Wynn. I don't know what significance of that character, but it's got Nump a name. Was so in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. He was, he was the one with Lando. Lando. He was like, oh, no, no, no. oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, you you guys are bigger fans than I am. I didn't I even know the, the character figure, figure, so. He was in The Force Awakens. <laughs> oh. yeah. He didn't start well. Okay, right. okay I, didn't, I didn't, didn't know that. I didn't know that. It was just a... Uh, couple of uh, interesting observations. All right, before, yeah, go we, before we go, I did promise Daniel he'll get to talk about Star Trek 4. 
Um, because I know he wants to talk about uh, the developments with Chris Hemsworth and stuff. So good, Daniel. I'm gonna mute everybody because only because the background noise is driving me crazy. So hold on. One, one second. One second. I gotta mute this. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Connor. Yeah. So uh, did you hear the news? It was good. Well, why don't you tell the news? Because I, I heard the news. Yeah, but it, it turns out that uh, Chris Hemsworth has been, you know, uh, has been like saying uh, he was on the red carpet a couple of few nights ago and he was saying that, uh, you know, J.J. Abrams has contacted him about Star Trek before. Yeah, basically. That's really cool because the thing is that it's a time travel thing. We don't yeah. know if uh, they inadvertently altered the new universe to restore the prime universe by saving us. No, 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 we're not. not. It's probably a mirror, mirror universe. We don't know. Yeah. Well, there's no restoring. They're just going back. Well, they're, they're going to. It's like, you know. Right. Yeah, jumping. But that's good news. Chris Hemsworth yeah. in there. Right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good actor. And I know that um, they, they really want to do more than the four movies they want to be signed on for they want to grow old and the, the role i heard so oh, yeah, yeah cool. so i mean we may get more than the fourth one from them five then, James well, we're going up to like maybe episode seven never know because like you know if they can if they go back to the original universe like after romulus was destroyed they could have like it, more adventures in the in, in that universe but there's other factors i mean the the actors yeah. all the actors and actresses they're uh availability i mean yeah, yeah. zoe's in guardians of the galaxy she's going to be the lead in my little pony animated um she's going to be in just about everything and she's going to be in infinity war and infinity war part two with you know so uh her availability is going to be slim and then uh chris pine is in wonder woman if that gets a sequel maybe he's going to be in another wonder woman too i mean if you go by linda carter's thing you know it was um, it was the ancestor, well, the descendants, and he still played the same part, right? Um, what the heck is his name? Damn it, I can't think of it. Sally, remember? Was it um, what's the guy's name, Chris, from uh, Wonder Woman? Do you remember? You got me. Oh crap! Okay, I have you. Steve Trevor. Steve Trevor, thank you, Sally. Yeah. Steve Trevor, yes. I thought you were talking about the actor's name. Yeah, no, buddy. Um, so. You know, he may be signed on for different sequels and stuff. So, and again, all the other actors, they're, they're going to be doing other things too. So it's going to be really uh, hard. But I'm sure they could squeak out another Star Trek or two or whatever. Um, Anyways, um, yeah, about, about the new animated Star Wars TV series, like, where, where, where do you guys think it's going to take place? I hear rumors that it's going to take place after episode six. Like, me, me, me and um, Steampunk have been talking about this uh, every night. And, um, like, it's just really exciting I, just, I i really wanted to see a post jedi show but also i'm hearing rumors that it could take place like during episode eight but somewhere else in the galaxy we could follow like maybe like a resistance group fighting the first order i, I don't know i i, I, I would really i would like it taking place after return of the jedi and you get to see young leia yeah. luke han their adventures and everything i mean or maybe they could have it set up well, what was it they're gonna have it set up from episode uh seven chris or no what was the idea uh, the idea that I heard was that they were going to do it after six. After six. Uh, the, the thing about that is... It's a 30-year... I mean, they could do Luke, Leia, and Han, but the, the thing is, what, what we have to remember is, Luke, Leia, and Han weren't together for a long time after episode six. It was kind right. of Han, Leia, and then Luke went to do his own thing. Right. Um, so maybe they could bounce back and forth, like we see what Han and Leia are doing, and then maybe we see what Luke's doing. However, right. I think they're going to stay away. I think if they do a new show, it's going to be with new characters. Okay. And they're going to stay away from that because I think they're letting that story get told in the movies and the novels with Luke and Leia and Han and, you know, Ben. Oh, and like Marvel. Yeah. So I think we'll pro they'll probably make new characters because they th it's a good idea because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to just focus on the same characters all the time. You know what right. I'm saying? It's, it's better to make your own characters and, and, and do your own stuff. I got a major idea. Yeah, it would be a great way to see kind of how the galaxy is after the fall of the empire, because we have some idea of that. But it would be great to see from maybe another perspective. Yeah, James. Yeah, DC need to do crisis on infinite Earth. DC. Yeah. Yeah. You know, get all the continuity all together before Marvel does their uh, sequel wars. Yeah. You know. 
So, um, one more thing before we get out of here. Uh, we know that American Horror Story was renewed for another season, but today was announced they're, they're announced for two seasons, which supposedly the next season's going to be on a cruise or with the water. And then the season after that is going to be Murder House versus Coven. Right, Sally? That's what they said? So, very excited about that. Very excited about American Horror Story. Um, very excited Ash vs. Evil Dead has a third season coming. That's great news. Uh, final season of Base Motel, they had their teaser, which is freaky. Um, oh, yeah, I've got a bit of Game of Thrones news, actually. Yeah. If you've seen a spoiler uh, thing on Reddit that's like a whole plot leak for the series, it's, it's true. That's what oh. happened. Because um, the, all the filming that they're doing so far, the, there's a site called Watchers on the Wall. I don't know if I've heard of it. Um, they follow all the. It's a bit like Doctor Who TV. They follow all the news for uh, the filming and stuff. Right. And um, ev- everything that they're filming is coming together within that plot leak. So yeah. whatever you hear on that plot leak on Reddit, don't read it if you don't. Yeah, want I'm not going to gonna read it because no. it's true. You know, a funny thing is, speaking of Game of Thrones and Maisie Williams, I think it was on an everything show like three years ago. I talked about the news of them doing this stupid movie called I Boy. I've se- I saw that. I saw a tweet. Oh, I, I haven't seen, tw- seen the trailer, but... We did an everything show like three years ago, or maybe even four years ago, where we were talking about it, and I was saying how there's supposed to be an accident, he gets merged with the technology of the phone, how stupid that is. And now, after all these years, this freaking movie's coming out. Oh, and my God. Well, it, it's, it's adapted from a novel. It's a novel. That's crazy. It, it's, uh, she, uh, she tweeted about the trailer coming out, and it's out on January... I saw the trailer. I saw the trailer. Yeah, that. it's out on January 27th, isn't it, I think? Yeah, I, I saw the trailer. It was like another superhero thing they're doing. And All right. Well, Maisie Williams. I mean, she, she's not the hero, but, you know. The sidekick. This guy is, I guess, he's an eye boy or whatever. I don't know. Right. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. I can't actually believe that they actually did it, but they did it. So, uh, it's so just, who bring it there? I want to know. What is it? If these things they make, it's ridiculous. I mean, come on. So, it's all right. It's all right. You should be on the <laughs> All right. So we're, we're under a minute. I just want to thank everybody for coming on tonight. Um, we're going to try to get uh, some real movies cast done on the weekend. Hopefully if we get news, uh, if not, um, we will probably be doing some everything shows and stuff like that. So thank you everybody. Much appreciated. Take care. Bye for now.